I'm Vinesh, 29, 30, turning 30 at the end of the year. I've been on this journey for the past 14 years and never regret a single day. It was a challenging decision for me to decide to drop out of university and pursue something that was very trivial or was a hobby at that time. But I decided to do it because at that point, the only thing that went through my mind was, if not now, then when? Today I would like to share three of the main reasons or what keeps me going till today and probably what's going to keep me going forever to come. Number one is we have to love what we do. And at that point, when I embarked on my journey, I really enjoyed what I did as much as I do today. And I think that's fundamental because in an anecdote, we all love holidays. We don't like packing, we don't like transit, and most of all, we don't like paying for it. But when we get back, we always have this memor memory of this enjoyable time and we go back for more. How can our life or work that we spend most of our living time doing be like that? And that was something that kept me awake at night and kept me resolute to pursuing what I really enjoyed. Don't get me wrong, it was not enjoyable on every single count. There are many attributes to the day-to-day -day challenges that are not as enjoyable as I make it sound to be. But it is part and parcel. Life is about, it's a, it's a accumulative of many different endeavors coming together, but the end, the end goal has to always be personal fulfillment and achievement because that's what's going to keep us driving. Number two is agility and flexibility. Coming out from point one, the only way we're going to be able to enjoy what we do is to be able to be open and accept every challenge, every um, negative attribute in that journey. And for me, again, it's extremely important to value the journey more than the destination because the journey is everything. How we get to where we are going is the most important in comparison to where we are going because many of us don't even know where we want to go. All said and done, accommodating, having flexibility and agility to shift direction has been our biggest fundamental attribute to success. When I started this business, I was naive and I thought that we're gonna be a biofuel production business. Have a refinery somewhere, look out for raw materials that's going to be given to us for free at that time, and run this plant as efficiently as possible and just be a run, another run-of-the-mill manufacturing facility. Today, a decade down, we, we're predominantly a logistics company with most of our assets deployed in the aggregation of waste materials from across the region and with the most number of staff under that division of the business. If I knew that logistics would play such an integral role of this business, I most probably would not have embarked on it. And thank God I did not know. So, with that, I ask everyone to embrace change, to be flexible, and above all, to have the agility to shift with tides and winds, because only with that do we have flavors to our life, and do we have multitude of experiences that create us as an individual. The third and probably the final and most important attribute has been perseverance and grit. Like I said, it has not been honky-dory all along. When I started at the age of 17, I was so young and so naive that I embarked on this business without allocating a need for working capital. Cash in hand to be able to go out there and purchase raw materials. And that reason was because I thought that I've got this amazing noble idea 
and everyone should come forth and give me their waste oil for free. It did not happen. I was sadly mistaken. And that was probably one of the most catastrophic miscalculation of the entire venture so far. At many junctures at that point, many people distracted me or, or tried to convince me away from it, mainly because I had so much more ahead for myself, education, jobs, possibilities, etc. And number two, coming into a commodity business at the age of 17 with no financial backing whatsoever. Again, if I knew the quantum and the requirement of the entire Escalade, I would not have embarked on it. However, at that point, thanks to my naivety, I tried to look for suppliers that would give me these waste materials on credit. I tried to look for buyers that would prepay me before I had the product even in the, in the facility. It was not easy, but I managed to convince some of the most important brands or companies in this sector of business. And they've believed in us because we've worked hand in glove sharing with total transparency and honesty of the situation of the organization. Until today, they are some of the strongest alliance we have built and we still work with them. In conclusion, as earlier mentioned, character, I believe, is the most important. Being vulnerable in exposing the bare truth, nothing but the truth, enables transparency and accountability, which I think is paramount in the development of society moving forward. All in all, I believe that it is extremely important for us not to shun, not to discourage, but to encourage and to um, promote individuals that have got a clear train of thought on what they would like to do today, tomorrow, and day after instead of being fixated on brandings and on characteristics or uh, compartments in which we have to fit into. With that, I would like to thank every one of you for giving me this opportunity, and I hope that every one of you all would put yourself in the position I was, where there was, I had nothing to lose and the only way is up. Thank you.